Hey there guys, welcome to another exciting video of what is undoubtedly most people's dream in life and that is to build their very own pump house for the rainwater harvesting system. Okay, I may be overstating that just a little bit, but it is my dream. Uh, so anyway, this is a follow up to the last video where I built the pump house and you can see this video, I'm going to show you how I built this door that has a pretty cool DIY latch handle mechanism. So. Let me show you how I built that and then I will tell you about all the other things to come. Now before I start building the door, first thing I need to do is add a threshold for the doorway. And for that, I'm just using this piece of three quarter inch scrap. And what I'm going to do is just kind of situate it in the doorway where I think it's going to sit. Make a little mark. And now I'm going to take it to the table saw, run it along that mark at an angle to where it has a nice gradual slope towards the outside so the water sheds outside the structure. And then I'm just going to coat it in a lot of boiled linseed oil and mineral spirits to make it as weatherproof as possible. And there you go, DIY threshold. I ended up having to run it by one more time because I hadn't quite lined it up perfectly, but you can see this is the flat edge and this is the gently sloping edge. This is where the door is gonna sit over and this is what is going to shed the water. So you just saw me make a simple door threshold out of a scrap piece of lumber. And if you look down there, you can see it is now installed. The next thing I'm going to do is to make the door. And instead of just making a door out of measurements for my door frame and doing it over by the shop, I am going to weld it into place. I have all of my pieces cut and clamped along the door frame with just the right reveal that I want. And I rolled the welder over here and I'll simply tack it all into place and then, uh, you know, just give you another idea. This is a technique in case you had an older building, like an old barn and doorways shifted or something, and you wanted a perfectly custom fit door. This is one way to do it.
All right, so we're inside the pump house right now. My apologies for any excess echoing, but this is a small space. Uh, so anyway, you saw me build the door and get it to this point, but you didn't see too much in the way of how I made the mechanism. And that was just simply because it was gonna to be too tough to work with the welder and the camera and everything in this small space. So I figured an explanation would suffice better than actually showing everything. So I'm all zoomed in and I think this should give you a pretty good look at how the mechanism sits on the back side of the door and operates. I'll just move it a couple times so you can kind of see how it works and then I'll explain it. Okay, so you can see that there is a U-shaped piece of steel right here. I just made this out of half inch by half inch steel tubing. And this U-shape sits in a track of four pieces of scrap one inch tubing. This is the same tubing that I used to frame out the door. I just cut some little slices of it, welded it on, and then I added some sheet metal screws on the front to kind of take up some of the space, uh, the difference of space from this half inch by half inch tubing and this one inch by one inch tubing. So that way it keeps it from rattling. Uh, if before I had those sheet metal screws in there, uh, the door had a lot more play in it and now it's pretty secure. So obviously you can figure out with this crappy weld, uh, my sign on the other side of the door essentially has an axle and it comes out right here and I just welded this piece of scrap steel. And when the sign turns, this turns and then that just pulls another scrap piece of steel that is screwed to this piece of U, uh, this U-shaped piece of steel. And ultimately it gets trapped into two little notches back here that I notched in the door frame and then gets secured behind this one inch by half inch piece of steel tubing. And I'll show you some extra views of how all this works, but that is essentially it in a nutshell. And one more thing I wanted to point out, you may have noticed when I originally installed this that uh, the sign had a lot of play and movement. Uh, and to ensure that the sign stayed level, I just added a little piece of aluminum angle on the back side so that uh, when I close it, the sign is level and it looks nice and tidy. All right, well, I think that is pretty much going to do it for this video. As always, I hope you found it interesting and perhaps something that I did while making this door and latch mechanism will prove helpful or inspiring to you in case you are working on a similar project, whether or not it's a pump house or whatever, maybe something is helpful somewhere along the lines of me doing something. Um, as for uh, some questions that I wanted to address that uh, some of you may have, in the last video when I built the pump house, I had mentioned that I was gonna add some vent holes uh, to obviously evacuate the heat that will build up in, in there during the hot times of year. I have not gotten to that, and the simple reason for that is just, uh, I, t uh, I had said that I was gonna coordinate it with a passive solar uh, setup on the southern exposure of that, which is the backside. And I just haven't gotten that figured out yet. And right now it's our monsoon season. So we're getting lots of cloud cover and the days just haven't been that hot. Super muggy, but just not that hot. Uh, so eventually I will get those in there. Um, and then the other thing I mentioned on the other, uh, the last video is when I was talking about making this door, I said I wanted to do a cool little combination lock uh, for it. And I just didn't get around to doing that because I just 
didn't have the time and I wanted to get this out. I've got a very busy fall coming up with hunts and uh, Marley's Mustang show is coming up in September. And anyway, I just got a lot of uh, things going on. So um, I am going to postpone that. Maybe I'll do a de dedicated video on it or I'll just show you in one of the follow-up videos when I end up doing the water filter and the passive solar and other stuff that are going to come more kind of mid-fall uh, time. And then uh, the other thing I wanted to point out, uh, you may have noticed I was using a new table saw. Uh, that is from Evolution Power Tools. It's the same company that makes the saws that you've seen me use probably a couple dozen times uh, that cut metal. They're called like a cold cut saw or a dry cut saw uh, that doesn't throw sparks. Um, anyway, that's a table saw and you probably saw that I was cutting wood for the threshold, but I was also cutting steel tubing and obviously the aluminum. Um, it's a multi-material saw and I am very pleased with it. It's probably going to be my new go-to saw. It's very sturdy. The mechanisms work nice. I like the miter sled. Um, anyway, super awesome. They sent it to me uh, so I could try it out and use it on projects. So I did not pay for it, but I'm also not getting a, a check from them or anything like that. Uh, but I will put the link in the description in case you are interested in checking out that saw or any of their other saws. Um, and... I think that's pretty much it. Um, as for the videos to come, I'm going to try to get together a little part two of Marley's Mustang project to kind of show you the stuff that she's been able to teach her Mustang uh, in preparation for this uh, tip challenge that she's doing up in the Phoenix area in September. Um, and uh, I don't know, I've got a whole ton of other things. I I could mention them all, uh, like the my brush fire trailer rebuild that I've been saying for three years that I'm going to redo. Uh, and I've got it all disassembled, uh, and eventually I'd need to do that. But anyway, I could give you a whole list of other things. But uh, as always, uh, I just appreciate you guys watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Uh, remember, you can check out my stuff on Rumble and Odyssey if you want to watch on different platforms. And uh, until I see you next time, God bless.